Thank you. So even I'm a co uh, even though I'm a co-president of the of the Parity Equality Committee, um, this committee has not yet formally begun its work. So I shall speak as a mathematician and try to answer the question how to attract uh, young women to careers in mathematics. Contrary to many of you, certainly, I am not at all an expert of the subject. So maybe you should uh, see this as a, a testimony of someone who feels the responsibility to be part of the action uh, to change things in his thematics. So let me first uh, remind key figures uh, showing that uh, very few female mathematicians very few women uh, learning mathematics. Among mathematicians working in France, either in universities or in CNRS, 21% are women. And only 13% had been promoted either director of research, uh, of research or professor, meaning a senior uh, scientist. To enter a university in France, your PhD has to be qualified by a national committee. So at least for position in university, this is not so easy in CNRS, it is quite easy to determine the theoretical group of potential candidates. For example, uh, in 215, 216, 27% of candidates to this qualification were women. Among, uh, okay, 26% percent of the persons that have been qualified are women, so nearly the same figures, and 31 percent of the available positions have been given to women. Okay, so this is quite small figures. Uh, quite a good proportion of mathematicians hired either in universities or in CNRS have studied before either in Ecole Normale Supérieure or in Ecole Polytechnique. Uh, between 2008 and 2013, among students hired in these schools, only 17% were women. To enter these schools, you have to prepare an entrance exam in what we call class préparatoire aux grandes écoles. Only 21% of students having math as major in this class préparatoire were women. So it is quite clear that we have to act sooner, before. How to do that? Maybe we should change the way we teach mathematics and also change the aristocratic relationships to knowledge. Uh, what is the perception of the study in class préparatoire aux grandes écoles in France? We have a study published by Marianne Blanchard, Sophie Orange and Arnaud Pierrel called La noblesse scientifique, which is the scientific nobility. They exhibit how the class preparatoire or grandes écoles define the academic excellence and draw the profile of the scientific as a genius. They show that more than the merit, the talent is emphasized. Talent is something you inherit from your family. So class preparatoire or grandes écoles are essentially a mechanism to reproduce the actual order of the French elitism, no working class children, no girls. These classes have selected the best students. Every student there has been a very good pupil before, and so the rules of differentiation change. Indeed, this is not specific to France. About St. Paul's School in New York, Hampshire, United States, Seamus Khan mentioned to work hard, to have excellent results. All of this is obvious. The challenge is not to be truly extraordinary. What make a student the best among the very good ones are a set of qualities that are seen as personal, innate qualities, not transmitted by the educational system. Intuition, swiftness, curiosity. To be brilliant among excellent students, you must be rigorous, that is a prerequisite, but more than that, you must have intuition. The success is not only provided by the results obtained by a student, but also by the way he has obtained these results. So, intuition is clearly expected from the evaluator during the entry 
exam, to école normale supérieure or école polytechnique. However, the perception of this requirement is gender dependent. Let me give some figures uh, from this study. 25% of male students consider that intuition is necessary for the success. Only 13% of female students consider the same. 33% of male students think that they have intuition. Only 11% of female students think that they have intuition. 46, only 46% of male students think that they are serious. Whereas 74% of female students think they are serious. 32% of male students think they have organization skills, whereas 49% of female students think they have organizational skill. So women continue to trust the quality that gave them the status of a good pupil. This is also a consequence of an early socialization that tends to consider girls as calm and easy by the parents and teachers, and boys as active and fighting. Teachers in class preparatoire or grandes écoles tend also to attribute more often appreciation related to excellency or subtlety to men than to women. We could fear that this appreciation, more than describing a situation, make indeed this situation to be true. A study on scholar appreciations by Desmoulins and Daniel on 50,000 pupils shows that the use of serious in appreciation by teachers in mathematics is quite rare compared by the use of this word by teachers in literature, for example. On that, this appreciation is, over more, often, is more often used for girls than for boys. To end this description, let me mention a recent report by the Institute for Fiscal Studies on Girls' Uptake of Mass A level in the British educational system. In these systems, Pupils have an exam at 16 called the General Certificate of Secondary Education, where, in case in success, they obtain a grade between A star to G. In the following two years, they prepare the General Certificate of Secondary Education advanced level. This exam is obtained with at least three major disciplines called A level and some minor ones. Even among girls having A or A star in the general certificate of secondary education, few will take mathematics A level. Again, let me give some figures uh, from this study. 77% of girls said that they found mathematics interesting. And 83% report enjoying it. Okay, so let me stop there. This discrepancy is quite surprising to me. Could you enjoy mathematics even though you do not find them interesting? <laughs> there is something I do not understand there. <laughs> three quarters, uh, so yes, three quarters of girls report that the quality of mass teaching they have experienced so far is very good or outstanding. The authors of the report had discussion with a focus group Girls in these focus groups express their discontent with the style of teaching. They felt that there was a lot of content to be covered, an exaggerated focus on exam preparation, which they felt was boring and repetitive. They regret to have no time to enter into depth. Girls in the focus group sit also male dominance and boys' behavior in the classroom as reason for not pursue to study mathematics. Let me give a citation of one of the young girls in this report. It's like traditional that boys are really good at math, so I feel not as good at the boys because in my class the best people are the boys. <laughs> So, clearly, we have to change the, the, the image of, 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 of mathematics, and maybe we should think on the word patient. Okay, so we are not so many, so maybe I can share a personal story. 
Uh, I'm a mathematician. I like to believe that even though I would not be paid for mathematics, I would spend time trying to solve problems. As soon as I have time, I travel to spend time in front of a blackboard with colleagues. Mathematics is a passion since I am 17. My wife is a musician. Her work is her passion. And as soon as she has time, she plays hoboe with friends or listen to music. Both of us share something. Our passion is now our work. My daughter is nine. She pretends she hates mathematics. <laughs> At least she repeats this as many often as she can. She, indeed, she does not know what is mathematics. But uh, So I tried to have discussion with her to understand how she could hate something she hardly knew. But mathematics for her are not like a game. Mathematics for her are dead, not at home. Since this discussion, I accepted the extraordinary increase of my duty, becoming a deputy scientific director in St. Louis, 400 kilometers from home. I accepted a an invitation in Korea during next vacation and an in invitation in China next December. So I have. But certainly all of us have still a long way to go to fight against our own uh, stereotypes and to be able to transmit what we call a passion. But indeed, how many mathematicians do we lose with the patient speech? How many mathematicians feel sad when they discover that their passion is no more a passion once it has become a job? Mathematician is a job. It is an interesting job. It can be a very obsessing job when you try to answer your own questions. But this is a job, and doing mathematics is only a part of this job. When your only friends are modular perverse sheaves on flag varieties and geometry of the dual nilpotent cone, it is not really your patient to obey your department head and write project. However, it has become the duty of many mathematicians, uh, everybody indeed, to obtain funds in order to pursue their mathematics. The, imat the image of the mathematician as an obsessed, passionate genius does not correspond to the truth in our laboratory. Moreover, it certainly makes us miss to hire very good mathematicians and, in particular, female mathematicians. We should also explain that you can be a mathematician, maybe not the best one, but a good one, with a normal life, having beers with non-mathematician friends on Thursday evening, and baking cakes with the children on Saturday afternoon. And do you know what? You can even study mathematics and exercise another professor, profession than teacher or researcher. My opinion is that we should promote these ideas on every job in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. According to the report by the British Institute for Fiscal Studies I mentioned before, girls perceive STEM careers to be well remunerated, but male dominated. Isabel Collet explained how women were less involved in informatics. Indeed, the more working in informatics was considered as prestigious, the less women had access to careers in informatics. She explained how Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh succeeded to increase the proportion of women in the students in informatics. This went through a change of culture in the university. The dominant idea was that men code for the love of art, whereas women code because this is useful. You can replace informatics by mathematics and code by computing, and we have exactly the, exactly the same. More women, so how, to, to solve, uh, how they succeeded to solve this, more women were hired, safe spaces were created, gender classes were given. Finally, the university has changed, and it is interesting to point that the key of the success is not only the fact that more women were hired, but also that the male culture has been changed from inside. 
people working there had the feeling that the university has become a better school thanks to the inclusion strategy without losing the best of the geek uh, culture. So let me finish to give some actions, maybe very not very original one, but indeed in mathematics we are at the very beginning of trying to do something. Uh, teach because the, the situation now is worse than 30 years ago. So teachers, people acting in hiring committees, managers should receive a continuous formation on stereotypes. I hope this can be done soon in CNRS and French universities. I think it can be done for teachers in class preparatoire or grandes écoles, but I fear it is more difficult to organize this in high school uh, teachers, for high school teachers. Maybe we should think also on specific actions uh, towards girls. This, I don't know in India, but in France, this is not so easy to, to promote this. Uh, two active French associations, Animat and Femme Emat, created something called Phi Emat, Girls and Mat, an, uh, une équation lumineuse, a brilliant equation. During a day, a hundred college and high school girls will discover a higher education institution, attend a mathematics conference given by a female researcher, and to me more important, participe in a workshop on stereotypes in science. They will meet women working in connection with mathematics and intervene in an interactive play forum that portrays a school girl at the times of the choice of orientation. Because every time there is an orientation, then boys go to mass, girls go to something else. Certainly we have to create specific mathematics club for female students in higher education uh, ed uh, institution and build a woman community through specific social events. Finally, we should create a specific link between female students and female alumni to develop mentorship, emphasize career opportunity, and encourage women's leadership. <laughs>